Welcome back to Legend of Mana. So, it's time. Well, no, it's, legend, not it? it's time to actually continue. But after we're dealing, we're being dealt with the two of the major story arcs, let's actually continue one of the minor story arcs where we started in one of the previous parts and actually deepen down. If you remember, um, the first time we came to the lake dungeon, we came across a band of pirate penguins led to a captain. It's by me. So by placing the hook in the, the obviously the body of water, we create a ship. Obviously, you know it's weird mm. since we're technically the ones creating this world. Do the characters ever acknowledge that? Well. SS Buccaneer. The Sproutlings seem to do so, but other characters seem to deny that. It's to be an fair, interesting dichotomy. To be fair, too, it still makes more sense than Donald putting his map underwater and instead of destroying the map, it somehow <laughs> reveals the location of the fucking treasure island. However, the hell you know, that I gotta... works. <laughs> Isn't a similar mechanic also in Star Tropics? So? <laughs> Kinda, but I never, I never understood that. <laughs> okay, riders. Oh my god, there. oh my god, oh uh, my god, oh anyway, my god. Yeah, Drova, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're getting flashed. Chain of Memories! To... It's Chain of Memories from Captain Oak's yeah, boss site. Amazing! Oh my god. Do it. Jobba, Jobba, you really need to get some counseling for your Kingdom Hearts no, 3D No, no, Pedro, 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 Pedro. Actually, Chain of Memories. Ah, Pedro, I'm talking about Chain of Memories. And besides, you know what? Honestly, I. Well, fine. Can I'm PTSD Actually, actually, general. actually, that's not PTSD. I actually do like the Captain of Claw side in Chain of Memories. I liked it, but it's arbitrary. Because he has that so ability I'm that makes all his cards zeros. No, 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 jo Tio. Joss Corcher talked about it enough. Tio, don't you mean... Tio, don't you mean arbitrary? Oh, Joss Corcher. <laughs> okay, here's... Yeah, yeah, Joe, I will need to show you. He actually made, like, a top 10 worst bosses in Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, this is an interesting trick. In a throwback to old-school uh, traveling RPGs, kind of like, in order to activate some quests, you need to talk to the penguin at the st steering the wheel, and actually ask him to go in directions and basing on what he says, deciding where to go. Um, if you actually manage to hit the right spots, uh, you will trigger a this dialogue that actually makes the cutscene appear. So the game actually tells you when you're actually doing the right thing. Even though you're kinda have, are a bit blinded, the game actually encourages you to explore and it's not completely in a sense that they need to go back and forth, back and forth. The game immediately tells you if you did the right thing and uh, despite having the four directions, there's not a lot of space to go. So if you want to trigger the cutscene, the, the, the specific quest, you're uh, relatively easy. You know that is? So. Anyway. Yeah. Apparently, apparently the wind has stopped, for, so the ship is like stranded in the Oh boy, are we about right to have now. a case of cabin fever? Well, we'll see. That movie, by the way. Yeah. Remember, in case you, in case you don't need to remember, Dweebs and Peru will be the penguins, Joe will be obviously And for those who wonder, yes, I'm referencing Muppets Treasure Island. Go see that movie if you haven't. I love that movie. The real man of the sea Curry, is Tunnel grateful, Pen. even. No, I, I, honestly, it's not even just Tim Curry. I just love the whole movie in general. It's, it's so yeah. awesome. That movie was actually my main introduction to Muppets. Mine was, so, um... Surprisingly, I'm just movie. seeing them randomly. Surpri Basically, my dad, mine sorry. was the Christmas Carol version. My dad uh, was a huge fan of the Muppet Show back in the 70s. So he was actually the one who introduced me to them. And I guess if you count Sesame Street, oh, uh, that is technically where I got introduced to them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But by the way, guys, technically the Muppets is a British show, so... To say that. Because the Muppets, because the classic Muppets TV show was actually made here in the yeah, UK. Yeah, but Jim yeah, Henson's American. Yeah. Made in the UK. Isn't it? Wasn't it technically Jewish uh, immigrant? Oh, very good. The 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 penguin is has took an interesting bottle if as fish. Is it from his lover? But what may be inside? No. Well, oops! It contained a demon. Final Fantasy VIII. Eh? Wow. Fuck. Well, at least it's not the devil. At least, well, it's not the fucking devil. So. Yeah. And unfortunately, this will actually affect uh, all the um, all the crew. I like it. Bye. Oh. 
So obviously the, que the 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 goal of this quest will be to catch again the ghost the demon thing and actually put it back so, in its place. What is up with square? What is up with square soft and demons inside small little things? Don't you know, Pedro? Phenomenal <laughs> cosmic powers, itty bitty leave in space. I, I I I okay okay square. You are not supposed to take that to heart. Yep, they did. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a throwaway <laughs> line. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no real means of catching the ghost directly, so we need to get a bit clever. Now let's try to talk to him. Put back into the bottle and return Actually, to the sea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the Jova's the captain. Right? Yeah, he told you. To the find the bottle first for that. You and Luis will be so the So basically, Tio, um, from what I can gather, so basically, is it about of moving ahead, north Pedro. from... Sorry. I already made this dialogue. Sorry, can you so repeat to you, that, um, are there like That's four okay. different quests that you can get on the ship? Like, you know, one that you get by moving north and up, and then one by moving... Sword, uh, I don't remember the exact number, but there are quite a few that you obtain by starting in this, uh, with the steering wheel. And is it mainly that the ship moves in real time, so you just have to wait around for a quest to trigger based on what direction you go? No, 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 you get it instantly as soon as the ship moves. Uh, like, you get it in a theoretical way, kind of like to those old uh, sea trader, kind of like text adventure in a sense. The ship, you get the, the penguin telling, oh, the ship is moving this direction, and the, the penguin is telling, then tells you the details of the new location that you discover. So, something like, oh, there are some impressive snowy mountains in the distance. That's kind of your cue to understand where you're, you're supposed to be and uh, where to move from so, that place. It's kind of like moving from square to square. In oh, wow, place. so it really is a lot like one of those old text based venture games my mom told me about where you would type Again, in a prompt. It's similar to the dot bear decipher deciphering the language of a dot bear it is the game trying to be relatively uh homaging this kind of old school mechanic where gamers used to actually you know uh write down hey, you know hey, you know hey, 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 you know, hey, you know what? these no, kind of throwbacks no, i'm actually okay with you know i'm back to actually you know praising the well not so much it's praising the, but... again drova it's it's the it, well it's clear at this point it's it's a bit of a roller coaster in terms of opinion in this case it's all depending on the fact that just as we mentioned there was a bunch of ideas and obviously not a lot of a lot all of them managed to actually come to fruition so the devs actually would have probably the devs would have probably have better just be stopped at some point and work with what yeah, they have i mean compare this to sonic Lost world at the very least sonic Lost world despite all the ideas it ruined they were all at least centered around platforming for the most part this game seems to have ideas that were fit for different genres of gaming at times I still. Well, so true. does Nier no technically. So. Well, I with Nier, uh, uh, with Nier yeah. I think it's more different because the, the, the genre mixing in Nier is nowhere near as jarring as some other games can be so with genre swap. Well, Automata also cranks it up to 11. Is uh, it? Honestly, if you ask me, the. the the gun shooting thing. Ah, that's. Uh, you also yeah. have the text adventures back. True. So. Yeah, but that's. I, mean, I don't really count that as gender swapping. I mean, it's just text. I mean. It's pretty much eh. how I feel about Sonic True. Adventure 2. Those aren't really even genre swaps. They all involve platforming, so. They're still platforming. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's some shooting, but again, like of Nier Automata, it's just shooting. You're still doing platforming during those mechs. Well, here's, well, here's the thing, Joba. I'll give you that on the mech shooting, but with but with, even with um, the treasure hunting, that is, there's. Hold on, let me finish. Um, the thing is, the gliding ability renders all platforming completely a non-issue yeah, anyway, it's still a so it's not like... Element. And then you have Mad Space. Well, okay, mm. again... I hate we Mad all, Space. We all hate Mad Space, but again, though, again, even though the glide makes platforming a non-issue, it's still a platforming game, and you're still going from platform to platform. And, you know, it's not the first time that a platforming game, or heck, any game has brought in a treasure hunting mechanic where you have to fetch or farm or do whatever for it. So, again, they're not genre swaps. Yes, they're different play styles, but... Not genre swaps. My problem is that it's so... Again, what was wrong with the way Sonic 3 and Kate did it? I don't... Eh, it was Sonic Team trying to be experimental. And to be fair, for the most part, um, I don't even think that most of the playstyles and adventure upon that game's release really got panned except I... for Biggs, which is why Biggs never came back. Wait, wait what the heck? And there you uh, go. Now oh my god, a genie? A genie? Oh my god, it's a genie, yeah. just like in Final Fantasy VIII, Pedro. 
Well, it's it's the power swap of a demon that possessed Matilda in that uh, quest of the fairy story arc. Oh, so that's right, Matilda was possessed. It has a different couple of different attacks, though, so it counts as a. Well, look at that! It's essentially a GD page, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to get back to my earlier thought, riders, uh, for the last time, when you put paper in wa underwater. It destroys the paper. It doesn't suddenly reveal <laughs> hidden ink. That's not how paper <laughs> works. Yeah, even even with invisible ink, usually you need to use a lemon juice. So. Even Harry um, Potter. What is this reference? Quack shot. Uh, ah, quack shot. Yeah. And also apparently. And it's not the first not time you've you done this. Believe that, believe it or not, old adventure serials tended to do stuff like that as yeah. well. So, um, it, it, it's it's. I'm how do you even understand sure how that? What's also, even the, the thought process behind whoever the hell also, came up with I'm, that? Also, I'm pretty thing. sure Pedro Perry is in one of the Sierra games, a mechanic like this. I don't remember which one though. Uh. I think there it's might be, one, but... one of the Quest for Glory games. I think. But... But it's been a while. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been such a long time. So, um, yeah, there's um, uh, why is the spirit turned into a giant genie? Oh yeah. Because we need a boss. Because the, spirit, the spirit form, and again, we need a boss to Let me guess, because he has to drain energy from the crew. Yeah. To be honest, I, I can't tell was... what's supposed to be side quests and what one's supposed to be main it... quests. Remember, the, uh, uh, it must be turned into Big Band from. Uh, yeah, Calder. what the heck? They really are for. Because remember, Japan. guys, this is, this is an RPG that's more about the world also, rather than specific. And, al and also, Dweebs, remember, when it's about one of the main story arcs, the title of the quest is accompanied by a. Although, TV 30 that's something that's easy to miss, especially if you're not well versed yeah. with this game. I know, yes, yeah. I mean, True. again, again, again. For as many problems as I may have with Yokai Watch. Oh, God. Anyway. Hold on, might as well the final dialogue at least. You can oh, start God. talking about. Uh, Oh, that's a real man of the sea. Oh, well, it, it, uh, thanks, at least Captain. they thank us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a running gag. Yeah, every time we complete a quest here, the captain give, give us a crab uh, that uh, carries an item, but it's still a crab. Guess what? You can still find all of, after, after completing each other, you can find all of the crabs you collected in your house. And even if you actually step on them and accidentally kill them, they respawn. So that's Yay. a nice touch. Anyway, continue. Um, yeah. What um, I was saying oh, was, Wait, hold on. I was going to say something. Well, I was going to reply to, to something you said, okay, but okay. go ahead. Um, you know, for as much luck as I may give Yokai Watch 1's plot, at the very least, at the end, they all were connected in a way. And again, that game was going for more a slice of life thing. And you know what? I'll give the game credit. Well, this game is as well. Let me finish. Technically. No, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead yeah. I mean, I mean, again, though, to be fair, what I'm saying is like, well, yeah, Yokai Watch 1 was definitely going for a slice of life thing, but it was more clear from the get goes going for a slice of life thing, whereas this one, again, yes, the side quest seems slice of life, but you can tell. It, it tries to combine slice of life with traditional RPG uh, fantasy story. Here it goes. The problem is that those two don't really Not mix only very that, well. well, I mean, it oh, is possible. And not just that, Pedro, it, it was just, uh, again, the whole dispersion of ideas. If it was more like, say, what uh, Snack World, from what we've seen, is trying to do, probably would have been I better. Even well, if it tried to. It's a full out wacky comedy, though. I don't True, know. True, but it's what exactly I mean, if they had that structure, but it's still. Can we read but the next tried to say, uh, Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's Quest 34. In the sea. A penguin reels in a bottle of ghosts, and all the penguins on the ship ended up collapsing. That is really scary. But I wonder how the ghosts fit inside the Oh, wait, the wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Material. So, okay, so another rule to add to this universe, you can apparently fit ghosts into bottles, which means that not all ghosts stay or go into the underworld, some can... It Job, uh, it, it, it's the whole, it's the whole ghost mythos the something like that has been treating to move into things like Casper or Luigi's Mansion. Ghosts are not no, no, physical. No. Yeah, but they can fit. Besides, as Shiro probably can attest, uh, if cats can fit into containers like that, um, so guys, can guys, guys, the ghost sitting in it. Cats that, can fill in, uh, fit into very guys, small guys, <laughs> Therefore, cats guys, are the ghost me. fitting into it is not my <laughs> issue. My issue is that we already have an established underworld, so now this is essentially a new rule to the afterlife here. Like, again, what's this ghost story? Why is he in a bottle? Why isn't he in the underworld? Because, yeah, this is one of the few times where, you know, we've had a ghost who's just trapped in a bottle here. Like, 
I mean, look, I mean, maybe I wouldn't complain about this so much. Well, to be fair, for a little while, we didn't know that the yokai and yokai watch could pass well, on for a little well, while. Well, here's the thing. We didn't Here's the know thing, that. Shiroi, though. It, 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 was con it was kept consistent across the yokai watch species. Here, again, this feels like a... Oh. oh, right, these, sorry. These also start uh, another, uh, well, it's it's the same story arc, but it's a parallel story to the escapades of the uh, penguins. Apparently, the pe the pirates are in rival with the dud bears that work in the mines, so a good chunk of this side quest will be about this war between them, kind of like, and my character actually having to help uh, either side the one this kind of came out of nowhere but you know what okay but again speaking of stuff coming out of nowhere though my main issue is like well again uh, who the heck is that oh that guy from before uh, it's, it, it's it's the guy that uh control it's it's in charge of the all right bears. anyway Dweebs, if you remember you are the dot bears uh then those penguins that just passed out made up with his graciousness <laughs> Oh, he's pink is BRB. I'm oh, sorry. The they all pay you. Where's Hattie? Yeah. The fact is that, the parties, the, the, again, apparently these, in case you have missed, um, ah, somehow I'm also responsible for this, so I need to atone. <laughs> anyway, uh, apparently these miners actually worship a dog. Uh, we kind of glossed it over, but, it, but they showed it in the... Um, in the quest where I got to the mine first uh, when I was searching for Oh, so these are the origins um, of Pele, the miraculous dog from Sonic 06. Thank you, Mel Pontro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, seriously, guys. Look up Pele, the amazing dog from Mel Pontro. It's an amazing, heartwarming story about John, a dog uh, that Pedro, can... Pedro made sure to show me. Ah, yeah. okay. No. That, not, not just, no, that, that still doesn't match Ats and the Pigeon. <laughs> uh, so, um... Uh... Like Johnny said, it is Let's Play. We need anyway, to have to um, That guy who looks like Dalsim, Jova, is also... Uh, he's essentially commands yeah, the dot bear. Yeah, he's a dot bear different from them for some reason. No, it's just like a human being that's just in the charge oh, of the dot bears. Okay. To add to, to, add to what, what Jova was saying, that's the thing she would remember. Uh, this, uh, whereas this game does have its few comedic bits here and there, for the most part, it plays itself straight. I mean, not, not necessarily serious, or, but well, see, for example, this particular side, the side, um, this particular bunch of quests are actually more for laps than anything. They tell about these supposed wacky adventures with the pirates, uh, the dot bears. Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. I, d I, yeah. okay. But I, okay. I don't want to diss innovation, but I think the main problem was making it so that there are three main storylines as opposed to maybe merging them into one big storyline so that we have a better yeah, sense. Again, uh, yeah, again, I think I mentioned, but it was very implied that one of the early drafts of the game had the three story arcs connected somehow. And what remains now of that idea was that uh, what Sylvia says um, to Matilda face story arc by name dropping all the other I think that's where my including I think that's where a lot of my problems start and end with this because think about it if there was just you know like a one main story to follow then it would be a lot easier to at least tell what's part of the main storyline and what yeah. side stuff like again Final Fantasy 7 is the quintessential example of how you of how people could do stuff like that in this day and age because you know again aside from the world building and you know being able to do worlds and orders that you pick Essentially, this feels like what Final Fantasy VII was doing. The, the difference is that Final Fantasy VII, of course, was more linear with its main plot, so that made sense here and there, but as far as the side quest went, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, there was some cryptic stuff here and there, but for the most part, if you did stuff right, you'd get those side quests eventually whenever you wanted to. Basically, what Joe was saying is that this game needed to just focus its... Uh, yeah. Focus. Like, and I honestly don't even get the point of splitting these three uh, main quests into separate it's ones, because, again, out. this is another issue of mine. Okay, they intermingle a lot to the point where we see characters in and of themselves here, so I have to ask, you know, if you're gonna have the characters cross over these plots so much, why didn't you just make it a main plot in the get-go, I mean? I mean, I get it, you know, it's a sense of a building world, but... Essentially, you could have just had them be there for that one main quest and BAM! Heck, I probably wouldn't even be complaining <laughs> about it that much. 
I just didn't say that, Joe. It's a, that's actually one of my problems with the storytelling structure of Lightning Returns, and, you'll, and I'll talk about more in detail when we get to it. The thing is, uh, because of the whole time management thing, much like in Majora's Mask, it's a good idea to try to get as much done in one day as possible, right? The problem mm -hmm. is that, as a result, you're going to be visiting different the different four lands uh, it, repeatedly on one day, which means you're going to consistently jump from storyline to storyline uh, at, at, at complete, uh, um, you know, like, yeah. it's in a flip-flop phase. In one moment, you'll be seeing um, a tra the tragic uh, outcome of what happened to Noel, and then suddenly you're now um, tending to a chocobo that uh, is like, the a, lines, like, lines, like yeah. the, there's no focus because the, the gameplay and the story are not working in unison. They're comp they're, there's such a huge dissonance between the, the way Compared the to say a game like The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, where yes, you had the option to multitask, but that was the thing. You had a choice to multitask, so it felt more natural as opposed to being, well, practically part of the requirement here and there. Hell, the, the whole Cafe Romance uh, entire side quest is a side quest that essentially begs you to actually deviate from the normal cloud and then yeah, reset. You have to take an entire cycle. It's kind of a shame it. that a lot of those quests kind of. Uh, have I missed anything? Of um. Yeah. Essentially, Not Joe, really. the, the, the pirates have kidnapped. Uh, essentially, there's a war ongoing Joker. between the. Sorry, Luibza. Uh, essentially, Luibza, there's an ongoing war between the pirates uh, and uh, the dot bears. You know, those cute guys that you voice with the weird way of talking. Uh, but, um, uh, actually, I, I didn't get to voice them in this part. No, no, I, yeah, not yet. But don't worry, you're about to. Because we're about to uh, actually appear. Um, Just to finish what I was saying. Hold on, hold on, I'm mentioning. Essentially, now we had to we had rescued the, the, the dog that the pirates rescued, so we, we now had to. Oh, do you like. We already met you! Uh, no, 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 Jova, that's a pre rent, pre kind of pre dialogue in a sense, but you need, if you want to exit the ship, you need to talk to the. So, why does he captain. say, I'm captain of a ship, isn't she a butte, and act like he's never met it's, you before? Uh, it's welcome to Corneria all over again. At least we'll fuck him to. Okay. So, so, if you don't like his ship, we get thrown off. That would be funny. Go on, Pedro. Go on, Pedro, might as well. Like, because, a, like, I, like I was saying, Shiro, I see the big difference between. Like, you brought up the whole yokai thing. The thing is, eh? is that. This game, like I was trying to say, that was no, me who brought up your cow watch. That's your Roy. No, it was she, me. You did? Yeah, no, but she was reply. Oh, but to be fair, we didn't know that how your cow could oh. until later. So, oh, we're talking about the, the genie the thing now. Okay, go on. See, the, re see, the reason an inconsistency here and here and there for your cow watch is less noticeable or even less troubling in general is because, like I said, this game has its own comedic little bits here and there, but for the most part, oh, it's um, what the heck is up with that guy? Uh, dreams it you. <laughs> His graciousness. And there you go. Hold on. I, f oh, I hope you can read it, Dreams, because I need to do some. Why the fuck you in the way? I don't understand. Keep in mind, I took some liberties. No shit. We all went searching for your sorry ass. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's thumping him! Uh, excitement. At last! Dodmers, you may cry uh, out! Don't hold back! Be honest! Show your true feelings! Uh, what the fuck is going on? He's showing his true feelings, alright! He's riding the way there! And that's the end! And that's it! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Um, yeah, okay, continue, uh, Pedro, might as well. Yeah, this game, yeah. Actually, actually, if you, if you don't mind, uh, this yeah. game, you know how Fairy Fencer F has really abrupt endings to its mm -hmm. skits? This, this one has really abrupt endings to it. its quests. A bit, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with Dwebs on this one. But anyway, yeah, like that's the thing that you write. Again, it's not so much an issue in Yokai because, again, Yokai is, is primarily a comedy. Yeah, it does have the moments, especially in the movies, where it does actually settle down with the comedy and tell a more dramatic story. However, it's for the most part a comedy. Whereas this game, while it does have its comedic bits here and there, it puts itself straight. It, it's trying to genuinely sell its world to us instead of just being primarily a comedy. So with Yokai Watch, it's not as much, it's not as serious when there's an inconsistency here and there. In here, it's much more noticeable because the game is not really distracting us. To continue from it. what I was saying, Virgil. actually, honestly, even if you are a comedy, if you have inconsistencies, that can tend to mess with the jokes now. Um, um, what I was gonna say is, like, oh, the reason it worked with Yokai Watch is that it was not an inconsistency, actually, because, again, it was something we learned affected the entire Yokai Watch species. My problem with the Ghost and the Genie is that this 
That's what I was trying yeah, to yeah. bring up. Yeah, here's my problem mm -hmm. with the ghost in the bottle. That ghost feels like a completely different ghost from how we've established the underworld to be for the majority of this game. And it's not like Pokemon where you know, oh, it's a different region of ghost. No, it's still someone of the afterlife. And again, look, considering how we've had two plot lines, no, two main plot lines that are centered around the underworld and Donkeys whatnot. Donkeys are so much cuter I... than Macho. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Donkeys are so much cuter than Macho, man. Uh, no. Cactus, are you trying to tell us something? I'm... I... I like, I like donkeys. We're looking into the sexualities of a living I'm, cactus. I, 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 it's well, not like well, 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 Jova, me anyway, I'm a cactus. I'm, I'm well, Jova, at least it's not like that uh, first uh, witness in Justice for All where he apparently likes a big banana. Actually, he hates bananas. I think I came up with an example. <laughs> I think I came up with an example that would make the point very clear. Uh, Shirai, to uh, go back to Beyond Two Souls. It's 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 kind of like how in the Navajo chapter suddenly the spirits have this bluish Jedi <laughs> spirit thing, whereas up until that point the spirits have been nothing but just you know the regular bodies mm -hmm. with no no spirit apparitions about them. So it's one of those inconsistencies that just contradicts everything that we've been seeing from that particular nature up until this point. That I'm I'm guessing the kind of inconsistency yeah, that Joe was trying yeah, to yeah yeah you pretty about. much nailed it there again. They don't even acknowledge this, really, and it's a bit jarring. It's also Jova the lack of focus, even in the in creating the world, in a sense that uh, the races of the world are way too much, as you may have yeah. seen. Like it creates this pastiche that just uh, loses identity in a sense because in it has because it has so many different races altogether. I usually don't mind a fantasy setting that has a, like, a lot of races. races. But we need to be kept yeah. in check, and this game kinda does not. Like we get, for example, Kafinja, which is the only basilisk in the entire game, for example, and we never get uh, almost anything about after that uh, about the race or anything. But like, so I get in a sense what you guys mean. Anyway, in the next part, uh, I think we continue the whole pirate versus. Um, uh, versus dot versus story arc. So, pirate see ya. versus scientist. Yes. Bye, everybody. See ya. See ya.